Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Shogun Total War, where I'm playing as Clan Shimazu. And in the last episode, we just about finished off Clan Oda. I know I've been saying that for a while, but they are down just to this one province here in Awari. And I did attack them. Uh, they took heavy casualties, but I did pull up, pull back. I wasn't ready to go full on and finish off that battle. So I will be finishing that off right here in this turn. But before I do that, let me just finish moving some of my armies up and getting some buildings in. And then I'll cut straight to ending this turn, okay? Alright, and here we are. I've moved up most of my units. I got my armies filled out and ready. This one here is ready to attack a warrior again. This is my daimyo, and I got these fellas doing the same as before. I got four Yari Samurai and two Arke Bouziers. That should fill out, and I will still be outnumbered, but I think I'll be able to um, actually attack and push across the river and take this province in this turn. I am going to be attacking in winter, which can be kind of tough. My soldiers will get more tired uh, faster in the snow, but I think I can persevere and take this one through. Other than that, I've filled out my build queue for all my units, and I've... Let's see. So I do want to get my churches going. Uh, I almost have eight of them. I'm working on seven right now, and I think I'll do my eighth church here in Mino, so I need a large castle first. Once I have those eight churches, then I can build a cathedral and start making money from all those churches, and that'll be really nice. To build that cathedral, I need a fortress, which is that third tier uh, castle building, and I guess I'm just going to do that here in Yamashiro. So I need to build that fortress here, and other than that, I'm building more ports. I want to fill up my back provinces, make sure I have a port in every province. So I have a port being built here in Usumi and Higo. No, not Higo. Yuga. There we go. So I haven't been, um, I, had, I didn't count the budget or anything like that. I'm just hoping that that's uh, not going to put me over. So I guess it's time for me to end turn and see how it goes. Uh, let me just check errors real quick. So I am coming up here on another air in about three years. Uh, probably won't get to that in this uh, episode. Just something I need to remind myself to keep an eye on. And as far as my diplomacy goes, oh yeah, so I did move up another, I had a kind of an emergency backup stack here in, um, what's this province called? Omi. And I moved it here into Mino just to help deter from any more attacks from Takeda. I don't think they will attack again. I, I gave them a pretty um, pretty good beating in that last episode, but just to make sure. And then here in Hida, Hida? Yeah, Hida. Uh, Yusugi, um, so it looks like they have their emissary up here in Kaga. So they're scouting this rebel province, looking like they want to maybe attack it. Uh, I would say good luck to them. And frankly, I hope they try because they will probably lose and they'll probably lose a lot of men. But I actually want to take a peek too and I want to see what's up here. This uh, fortress here in Echizen is going to fall soon. Uh, just two more turns. Uh, again, I could attack it, but um, I'm not going to. Nah. Alright, just triple check my taxes. Make sure they're very low. Looks good. I've moved up my priest. I've moved up my shinobi. It's time to end this turn. Actually, nope. Psych. Let me just check out this map. Uh, looks like... Holy moly, is this... Um, Looks like... Takeda has taken Mutsu, which is, if if I'm seeing that right, that's um, Yusugi's capital province. So things might not be going very well for them. Wow, this would be really cool if I actually ended up being um, a Shimazu versus Takeda final, because like, like I've said before, I've never they've never made it to being the last last um, clan. It's always Yusugi or Hojo. So yeah, that'd be awesome. Cool. I mean, then, I mean, yeah. <laughs> It'd just be Yusugi has lots of archers. I mean, that's their bonus. Look at this. It's just kind of, you know, you gotta fight that all the time. It's like, geez, oh, Pete's. All right, end turn for real this time. All right, I finished building a port. Looks like I still have some money left over, so that's cool. I can start building some more unit upgrades. Another port. Finish building the church. That's good. 
All right, outnumbered by about uh, 400, it looks like. So, yeah, uh, but I like my chances. Uh, light snow, I can't remember if that affects guns or not. Um, so I'm going to wait. That's even worse. It looks like that's the best I'm going to get, is light snow. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I'll find out and see if guns shoot in light snow. I, I they, they should. They should, but I don't know. Ar Arcade Bozeros are pretty, um, pretty janky, so... It can be... You know, maybe not. Anyway, I'm just going to get my force grouped up, and then uh, I'll see you once I'm ready to begin the battle. Alright, got them grouped up, and here we go. I'm going to bring my archers over to this side, and I also want to bring these Yari Samurai over to this side. So this is going to be the same setup as last time, except on this time I actually do intend on using this uh, force over here. This little assault force of Yari Samurai screening my Nodachi soldiers. And let's see, I want to get my guns over to the side as well. This is going to be the skirmish, the skirmish center. Bring them over and let's see, Yari Kev, want them over here to exploit any holes I can get. And then for my Daimyo, I'll just leave them in the center for now to react to whatever's going to happen. Alright, as far as getting these guys set up, spend a minute to do so. Oh, actually no, I want guns in the front. And then I just want all my archers ranked up behind them. All right, there we go. And Let's get my Yari Samurai ready as well. Looks like they've already begun the skirmish on this side. I'm getting shot at by someone over here, perhaps. Someone's getting shot at. And my daimyo, <laughs> that's not good. I want to get my daimyo out of there. Come on, buddy. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Just in case I'm going to, just in case I need you in this battle, I need you to be available, sir. All right. All right, ready to start crossing this bridge here. And, um, yeah, gosh, I mean, see, this is the thing. They just brought in their their bastion battered uh beginning army even though i know i know once i route them there's going to be like another full stack so maybe that's just what i do instead instead of like wasting ammunition on my on my archers and guns maybe i should just bring in the uh bring in the assault group and just quickly route this first unit. Oop, forgot that I actually was attacking on the side. Yeah, so let's go with that. Let's try to make this assault work on this side. And uh, yeah, just push them all off. Hopefully they all run away. Um, looks like they took some heavy casualties. That's the daimyo unit. Must have got shot shot my my guns Yep, see that gun smoke going off 
And yeah, we should just be able to hopefully route this um, this force quick and early. And yeah, let's bring up my cavalry just to just to make sure things are done right over here. I'm probably gonna run back over to the other side of the bridge as soon as these guys get pushed off, but. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm not too concerned about anything over here, but uh, that's when you lose. <laughs> that's a uh, that's when a lot of your men die is when you just aren't too concerned. So yeah, if the uh, if the AI is going to play very coy in this regard and just kind of you know, not run away right away and let me get to see I've already gotten through a quarter of my, you know, daylight remaining for this battle. So Yeah, we'll see. Might be a little tedious to get those first first guys off. They actually are looking like they want to attack, which um you know that's very uh that's very brave of them. May as well throw these guys right in and just start running them down. And they're already running away. Wonder if I can just catch him here. If I can just catch the daimyo and kill him, then the Oda clan might be gone after this. I don't know if he has any heirs. I don't think he does, though. Yeah, I might not catch him, though. Looks like my, uh, my cavalry is too concerned with cutting down Ashigaru. Alright, I'm gonna bring this force back over the bridge. And I'm gonna get ready for another wave of soldiers. And yeah, I'll just bring my cavalry back as well. And that way those guys can get a chance to rest up. And I'll see about this other wave coming in here. Yeah, okay, my cavalry told you guys to leave. So please leave. Oh, are they attacking? Oh, they're attacking the daimyo, yeah. Well, maybe, you know, if the daimyo wants to fight you, go for it. Yeah, I was wondering why they weren't leaving. They were like, hey, yo, dude's right here. Uh, okay, now he's... Hmm. Yeah, I don't want these guys to get caught out, so I'd rather just run them back. The bottom line is, if I do take this province, uh, whether or not I actually kill this guy in the battlefield, he will be starving to death in the castle, so... Just, uh, just gotta take the province. Alright, how about another wave coming in? Gosh, maybe I, sh maybe I should cross the river just because... Uh, yeah, man, maybe I should. Because, just because, um... My army is so much better than theirs. Like, even, even if they do, you know, they come on with that second wave, I'm not going to have to play this cat and mouse game of, uh, you know, going back and forth over the river. I'll just beat them, be able to beat them in an open combat. That is, if I do get across the river, though, so let's, let's see about this. They are start, reinforcements are starting to come over the, rip, um, over the edge here. What do we got? Ashigaru, Ashigaru, Simyari Cav over there. Off in the distance. Um, hmm. And then over here, we have some more Ashigaru, so. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a race. If I had done this sooner, then I could have just, you know, straight up taken this high, this high ground. But as is, it's going to be kind of a race here to try to get my guys over. Oops, I want to get them all in 
close formation. And then the same with my archers and let's see, I want my guns as well. Bring them over, bring them over. Uh, what do we got over here? Cav attacking my Nodachi. Alright, so what I'm thinking is, hmm, do I want to just post up on this hill? Do I? Do I? Hmm. No, I th I'm thinking I'm of taking center hill right here and, yeah, just bringing up archers like so. I can bring up guns on this flank. So that'll be this side. These guys are running away. Um, still got some forces coming right here. Got to form up. Shouldn't last too long. There you are, just Ashigaru, and they are alone. And it's cold outside. They don't want to be here. Alright, let's come around, flank them. There we go. And there we go. <clears throat> and run those guys down. There we go. Alright. Alright, so just because I have kind of wasted some time here, I want to start pushing up aggressively that way. Any reinforcements that come onto the battlefield, hopefully the idea is that they essentially just run immediately and I don't have to worry about all of this, um, you know, wait for them to come to me. I'd rather just face them as soon as they come to me and deal with it from there. Alright, just pretty basic troops here, just want to square up to them and make sure this battle gets over, so... Can bring my guns onto this flank, it's an open flank. If I can cause some routes over there, that'd be good. And let me check out these guys, just get them brought over, don't want my calved get caught by spears, that would not be good. Alright, here we go. Charge him from both sides. Looks like they're going straight for my cavalry so I can just do that and intercept them here and then put my guys in wedge formation and they're already bugging out running away there they go got some guys around my side here um, looks like they're just take attacking my archers so just getting a little cheeky here went right around me I should be fine though got my daimyo chilling out on the run, those guys are on the run, and let's see, how about we... Alright, what are we looking at now? Daimyo's still hanging out. Be nice to get him, but... Depends on if he wants to stick in combat, combat or not.
All right. Might be done. Maybe. Oh, nope. Still got all these guys over here. Okay. Let's swing over and try to get them before the time runs out. But uh, if I'm being honest, the time might actually just run out. So hopefully not. But this is another thing that uh, players, you just, myself included, just have to be careful about times like this where it's so close, it's looking like I can get it. Um, it's looking like all I have to do is just get my soldiers over there and they'll essentially break and run away. But in times like this, uh, making those rash decisions when you're moving like that is how you get end up getting a lot of your guys killed. And in this case, um, just because they did come on both sides of the map and they're making me essentially split my forces. Hmm. I wonder, because if I send my cav, it's just all ar archers this way. Wait, nope. Just got some more Ashigaru. Yeah, so they're bringing on too many, and it's just, it's unfortunate that the initial army starting out was um, so weak because I just, there wasn't a lot to kill there. And waiting for the rest of them to come out, it's just been a very slow trickle down process, and yeah, not really able to get a lot, a lot of work done in this one. I mean, I obviously did still get a lot of them, but yeah, I wasn't able to take the province in this turn. Still, uh, still do what I can. So there's some, some work to be done. Maybe I can surround these fellas here. And let's see, get some charges in. Nope, they're just gonna run away. Probably not gonna be able to surround them in time. Uh, how about, how about, how about up here? Can I get them? If I could just break everyone, that'd be great, but, you know, I'm just running out of time here. Um, I wonder... I wonder, I wonder... Yeah, and this side over here is just kind of taking too long as well. Even if I did uh, redistribute all of my soldiers, or all of my archers, guns, and cav on this side, and let all my infantry take this side, um, I still don't think I have enough time here. Go around them like that, and let's see. Get up here with my Nodachi and my Samurai. And go into them like here. Charge, charge, charge. And bring these guys okay, coming right at me, so go there. Bring them around. Got some guns going off over here, Do, doing some good work. Let's see if we can get another round in. Come on, break them, break them. Yep, running away. Ashigaru. Oh, you're going down. You're going down, Ashigaru. Yeah, there you go. And cleaned up this side. They're all running off. Oh man, it was so close. Ah, jeez. I I'm guessing this would have been it too. If I, if I just could have gotten these last groups off. Um, yeah, that's gonna be that. Uh, killed was at 583. Lost 173. So kill ratio is pretty good. Got some honor for a couple of Nodashi groups. Got some honor for my Yori Cav, who killed 139 and lost 15. So yeah, it's a good performance by them. And my guns, let's see, killed 12, lost 10, and killed 16, lost zero. So yeah, that's okay. All right, the castle at Echizen province is about to fall. And my security forces have caught and killed an enemy shinobi. Uh, this was in Mino. This is probably from Lord Oda. Another shinobi. All right. That's the plus side of having six stacked or seven stacked shinobi in one province. Okay. And this shouldn't be, this shouldn't be much. And <laughs> yeah, I keep saying that, but... Has to just be one more attack. Um, let's see, up here, Etchison Castle is about to fall, I'll just eight more men, that's fine. 
All right, what do they have here in Kaga? Okay, so good luck, Yusugi, if you want to take this. I mean, I know they're kind of beat up, and they probably were attacked by Yusugi before, but <laughs> yeah, right, look at this. Come on, I mean, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of monks. And what do they have here? More monks, and those guys are not hurt. Those are full-strength units. Oh, screw that. I really don't want to fight that. I really want Yusugi to, um, to take that. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, I'm in no hurry myself. Um, as I've said before, once I take a Wari, I'm going to be spending more time just kind of building my forces. I'm actually getting, getting there. I have a lot of what I want up here on the front line. It's mostly just about spending some time building my ports, building my unit upgrades, um, building up my economy. And then, um... Once I make my initial push, which which the with the soldiers I have, then I can back them up with some really uh, you know upgraded troops. Once I make my break, so all right. As far as my emissary, he's kind of done his job. I can I guess uh, I guess I can come and check out Shinano down here and just see what they have. I think um, yeah, I don't have a watchtower, so I can check it out though. All right, I should have enough to attack a warrior again in this turn, so I'm just going to take a moment to reassess my armies and move what I have to move and put whatever build slots I end that I have to do for, for that as well. So, see you in a minute. All right, here we are, and now I'm ready to begin my third attack here in a I have my soldiers set up, just about the same as before. I have my troops queued up and ready to go. I have my soldiers moved up. I have my priests and shinobis moved up as well. That's about it for that. And then I also put a few more build building queues in. I am building a fortress here, ready for the next tier in Satsuma, so I can do my next tier of upgrades for my Nodachi swordsman. Let's see, Heizen, uh, going with the swordsmith, so I can improve the attack of my cavalry and my Yari samurais that I'm building here in Heizen. And somewhere else, I think in Seoul, no, not Seoul, here in Tosa, I'm also going to be building the Portuguese trading post just to essentially get some more money as well. If I do want to build Arquebusieres here in Tosa, that also wouldn't be the worst idea just because I do get that plus one honor bonus for any Ashigaru that are produced here in Tosa. And Ashigaru are the units, are the men that are shooting those guns. It's not samurai. They're the peasants, so they can get that plus one honor bonus here in Tosa if I do choose to build them there. I probably won't. I'm probably going to keep this as my secondary Nodachi producing facility just because I already have this, uh, where is it? I already have this famous sword dojo giving me plus one honor to my Nodachi that are built here. So I'm probably just going to keep using it for that, but if I do want to switch it up and build some guns, I can do so there. What I have in mind is building guns here in Awari because just like Tosa, I can also build Ashigaru with plus one to their honor bonus here in Awari. So I plan on having Awari and Wakasa being my primary uh, gun producing uh, facilities. Um, probably won't need, need many more than that, but we'll see as I go along. It is nice to have options when I need them. Uh, without further ado, I think I'm ready to press enter in here. So yeah, two more years left. Have to remember that my heirs uh, become of age in the spring of that year. So it's going to be exactly two years from now is when he'll be coming of age. And I want to make sure that he is produced in the unit of my choosing, which will be a samurai archer. Um, just have to make sure I keep an eye on that. And let's see, moving on. Triple check my taxes. That's fine. Here we go. All right, now when we're finally in a position where I do outnumber them by around um, 130 men, so should go okay. Let's see how it goes. All right, round three. Light win. Uh, sure, I'll take it. That's fine. It has a mild effect on my archers, but I'm not too bothered by it. All right, I'm going to get my army grouped up, and I'll uh, get to you when I'm ready to begin the battle. All right, got them all grouped up, and here we go. Same as before. All 
Okay, my assault group moved over here to this bridge. And Yara Cav, same as before. Daimyo is probably going to be over here. And then I'll just uh, cut to once I have my units all set up and ready to start my attack. Alright, here we are, all set up, and the skirmish has already begun as it tends to do on this map. So let me just get my guys uh, started across and see if I can lure them into range of more of my archers over here. Even on this little bit, even though it's kind of awkward having the skirmish happen before I'm, you know, ready for it to, this still works out. I can still fit enough units in this little area to provide enough firepower over here. They do have this little hill advantage, so if they do pop on here, they can get a little range on me, especially on these uh, gun units up here. But I tend to be able to fit enough guys in this little uh, section just to uh, to be able to win the skirmish engagement. So, However, being able to lure them over is still a good move because now I can get these guns involved, I can get these archers involved. Uh, taking down the daimyo again, just wrecking him. Look at him go down, holy moly. Down to five uh, soldiers just like that. Down to four. And down to three. Jeez, oh Pete, that is brutal. Still down to three. Okay, and just gonna bring over another unit of Yari Spears. I know these guys didn't take any damage, but uh, I like to kind of stagger them just so they don't all get tired, or one unit just doesn't get tired. All right, they are gonna be a non-factor for the rest of this game. And is there anything else to lure over? Not really. There's 16 Yari Sam, 14, 4, 4, 4, so. Not a whole lot. I um I really want to just attack again. <laughs> I just want to get this battle over with. This is taking this is taking too long. So yeah, let's get these guys over and I can continue this skirmish uh what's left of it over here. All right, now just come back just a bit here. My Archibuzirs have taken some knocks here from those archers, but uh, not too bad. All right, now I can get these guys moving along, get them formed up on this side of the river. And I think that's about time for me to start the assault on this side as well got plenty of time left so that'll be fine I just want to do as I did last time and take a commanding position on this central hill hill here uh, looks like they do already have I'm guessing that's reinforcements coming down and they do have this um, this little troop of archers covering their retreat here so let's see if I can get them off the map nice and quick uh, let's see daimyo is coming down for another poke so He's welcome to do that. And I'll have my Daimyo right there to f square off against his. Alright, getting my spears across. Uh, why are guns shooting? Okay. It's fine. A little close to my cav there, guns, but, you know, it's, uh, I like the initiative, boys. Alright, let's go straight for 
bringing these guys up and bring up the archers. All right, get those guys back. Spears are getting a little close. Uh, even even twelve Ashiaru will uh, do a significant amount of damage to Light Cav. That's how fragile these guys are. Just want to keep them for, you know, killing archers, um, uh, hitting above their weight against other better cav units, and chasing cavalry archers, chasing on routers, all of that good stuff. But um, 12 Yari Ashigaru, way out of their league. No siree. They will cut them down. <laughs> like, actually, I'm not even, not even joking. Especially on uh, expert difficulty. Maybe, you know, they'll stand a chance on other, on other difficulty levels, but... Yeah, that's the thing. You don't you don't want to over or underestimate Ashigaru units because they still are armed with spears, and spears do very well against cav units. So it's just one of the one of those things you have to be really careful of. All right, let's see. Move these guys up like so, and I'll just uh, bring them on this side. Um, Daimyo, yeah. You see, that's the thing. There's a lot of like pokey spear guys over here, but they're very damaged. Daimyo, even though they are on horses too, they are a little bit stronger than my like have, so. Not as worried about them. Nope, don't want to forget my guns. Bring them over as well. <laughs> this unit's just. Oh, they're just chasing. They're just chasing my unit of cavalry around. That's cute. What? Are, oh no, no, no! That see, oh man, oh, God, that's so bad. I, so I don't know why they just ran away. That's but they do that. Um, they they do that. So like the the way the morale system works is that, you know, if if they get tired, they lose morale points. If they're surrounded by enemy units, they get lose morale points. If they have an enemy uh, to the rear of them. You know that where they're like essentially kiting the unit, they can lose morale points. But I don't, I don't know, I don't know why that happened actually, because he was by friendlies. He the, like the enemies was just literally this twelve unit group here and the seven unit group there. Um, I know Yari Cav do start off with initial poor morale, but still, that was ridiculous. That was a full strength unit that just got. I was telling you, they got chopped down. Like they're they're half strength now. They got chopped down, but they didn't lose a single model there. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's so bad. All right, what's happening here? Cav are chewing on my guns. Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I don't even want to deal with it. I don't even want to deal with those like annoying units behind me because they're they're just <laughs> they're so low in strength. Give me something worthy of my time. Uh, let's see. All right. I mean, I have to imagine they're going to break eventually, right? Right? I mean, being harassed by three Cav... Five Ashigaru... <laughs> That's just absurd. Okay. I mean, unless... I mean, am I not going to get a second wave of, um... Of reinforcements until I kill these guys? Is that the case here? Yeah, maybe that's the case. Maybe I just gotta like turn around and give them a quick shot and do it that way. And two full strength unit of peasants can't uh, can't beat three Yari. I mean, seriously, can't even kill a single one. Oh man, that's how bad they are in melee. Just 
just, you know, now they're going to get chased off by these three Yari Cavalry units. Um, man, that's... <laughs> God, that's so annoying. Okay. Because I'm just, you know, as you can see, like, I'm just waiting for the real army to come up. Like, <laughs> I'm just waiting, where's the, you know, where's the actual, where's the actual army? But because of my... Um, what's the word? Because I'm not respecting these units of 3 Yari Cav here and 12 Yari Ashigaru over there, I'm actually having units chased off, which is just absurd. Oh, this is so ridiculous. God. So, yeah, um, let's see, where's... Let's just... <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Let's just get, um, so I don't have cav units anymore, essentially. I just have to get uh, him, my daimyo, I can chase down this unit of archers. <laughs> There's that. Alright, they look like they are gone. I can run back and maybe I can kill this daimyo. We'll see. Or is he just gonna run off? The enemy daimyo lacks courage and honor. He's running for his worthless life. All right, here we go. Here's the rest of... Man, took for, took a while, didn't it? Jeez, oh, Pete. All right, let's see. Um, We just want to do one side at a time. I don't want to attack both sides. I don't really want to split my forces or maybe... Yeah, maybe um, just do one side at a time. Like so, and I'll just have these guys be a rear guard essentially. Maybe throw them here in the woods, and I can hold off, protect my rear against these guys coming in. Maybe even I can beat them, but we'll see. All right, what do we got here? Alright, running away, running away, running away, that's all good. That actually might be, um, they actually might be running for good. And let's see, they came in for a little cheeky little attack that I didn't, um, I should have been paying attention to, but looks like they're all running, that's good. That's all that, and is that done? It has to be it. Oh, I think, um, gosh, it's this, <laughs> oh man, that's so annoying. So it's just this unit of two Yari Cav back here. I think that's the only thing, and I, I don't even know if I'll be able to catch them before it's over. So as you saw, my Yari Cav, there we go, okay, all right. Oh man, finally, okay, and uh, kills, kills were a little worse for me this time. What was it? I lost almost uh, 200 men. They lost 350, so... Yeah, that wasn't... That was kind of an ugly little battle, wasn't it? Jeez, oh man. Alright, got the province. Uh, pillaged 450 Koku. Destroyed two buildings. And the siege in Echizen province has fallen to my troops. Yay! All right, here we go. Um, got my I got my line, and how long is this gonna hold out? Only one season, so two turns. Good. Um, the general is is he still in there?
Yeah, the daimyo's still in there, but I'm just going to starve him to death, and that's going to be the end of uh, Lord... Was it uh, Nobunaga? No, it wasn't Nobunaga. Uh, Nubuhide. So, I'm guessing Nobunaga's father? Yeah. Alright, so I got a warrior province. Uh, I just have to hold out, or just... You know, siege it off for two more turns, and then that'll uh, this province will be completely mine. What do they got here? Spear Dojo, Legendary Farmland. So they do produce a lot of food. Look at that farm income, 1,300 for one province. Holy moly. That's a, that's a good province to have. Also defensible because of the rivers. And this is a good line to hold at. I want to see if Yusugi will eventually attack Kaga and... And I wonder what's going to happen here. Uh, Imagawa looks like they're holding out an Etchu. Let me take a peek here again. So Imagawa, light blue is hanging on to Mikawa and Etchu. So they're split apart. They're in a bad position. Looks like Yusugi did get a hold of Mutsu again. So if they had lost it, it looks like they've gotten it back. But Takeda still has a very, um, very good control over a lot of um, good provinces here. So... We'll see what happens in regards to that. Let me just check diplomacy. Takeda is, of course, at war with Yusugi. Uh, Imagawa is just playing the pacifist right now, and they are at war with uh, no one. All right, so going forward, I think that the decision was whether I, I wanted to actually break the alliance, which uh, at the beginning of this campaign, I said I was going to play uh, relatively role play this one a little bit. That's why when I did accept an alliance, it was from a clan that started on literally the opposite side of the map. Uh, in a situation like this, um, so this is a starting territory for Yusugi. Oftentimes they lose Shinano on the first turn and they, they get Hida essentially cut off uh, from the rest of their territories and this is what happened to them. And since heirs, when they do become of age, are always born into the left and most provinces that you have, both of their heirs are born here in Hida, which really sucks for them. Now, as you can see, they've built up considerable forces. I mean, for, for what they've been able to do, this is okay. And for all of the archers that they have here in Hida, they might be able to beat all of the warrior monks of Kaga. You know, if you're going to counter a warrior monk, the unit you counter it with is an archer, just because warrior monks essentially have no armor. So there's a chance that they're able to take that. Um... We can wait and see. In the meantime, I might just take Mikawa because what the heck, why not? Uh, I can kind of work my way around Hida and stick to my alliance. And I might just do that anyway. What I was thinking was, so obviously at this point of the game, the most obvious way to advance is just, you know, you advance the front. All of this weird stuff in the back is kind of, it's its a little bit linear in places, a little bit linear through here, of course, but it can get a little weird in here as far as the progression goes. And as far as the front goes, it gets pretty simple now. You know, you're taking just kind of one, two, three provinces at a time, and you just keep advancing your front. Um, you do have to kind of open up a little bit over here, but what I was thinking is, instead of doing that, because that's how every campaign is going to play out, right? Once I, if I'm playing a southern clan, I'm going to reach this point and push forward in a linear direction. However, if I do want to make things a little bit more interesting and essentially honor my alliance that I made with Lord Yusugi back in episode one, I think, then I can work around him. And it'll be a little weird, but it'll be a little interesting, right? Because eventually he might attack me if I do uh, thin my forces out enough. Um... And eventually I will butt heads with him once I thin Takeda out enough. So it's not that, you know, obviously we will go to Ward eventually, but just to kind of make things a little uh, interesting for this playthrough. I mean, I know this is my first uh, playthrough on YouTube, so I, I could just go through like the basic way. But what I'm thinking is instead is actually uh, role playing the honor of, you know, we... We decided we were going to be friends, and here we are. Um, and we'll just see if we can just keep, uh, you know, air quotes, uh, <laughs> helping each other out here. So, uh, as far as that goes, I'm going to just continue building uh, the rest of these provinces and the economies and my armies. 
and get ready for a push here in Mikawa and then possibly here in Kaga. Alright, so I've moved up all of my soldiers and I've finished um, combining my units and putting my armies together and I'm getting pretty close to having three full strength Shimazu armies. I mean, these already are full stacks, but I mean, uh, I want the army compositions that I use to fight my uh, late game Shimazu battles. And I'm getting there. I just need a few more uh, units, need a few more spearmen, need a few more guns, and I'm good to go. I'm going to want, uh, I'm thinking, uh, well, at least four full strength, uh, strength stacks before I start my push into northern Japan. And so, since I am going to be going around Yusuke territory, this is going to get a little awkward. I'm going to need more armies than I initially would. Uh, but that'll be okay, I think, going into the next episode. Mikao is looking like a pretty easy grab here. They don't have a port. So the only Imagawa territories right now is Mikawa and Echu. And since they don't have any ports, they're just kind of stuck in these two provinces uh, waiting to be conquered. Then there's nothing they can do about that. Since I have my emissary up here, we can see that a lot of archers, yeah, a lot of basic troops here. And that's about it, so they're not able to do a whole lot. And since they don't have ports, neither Etsu nor Mikawa are able to go back and forth and uh, support each other. So this should be a pretty easy target going into the next episode. I just need to build up uh, an army here. What do I got? Uh, just two more seasons, so they're done in this castle, so... Yeah, I'll be able to go in and I should be able to take out this pro army with no problem. And then, just want to see what happens up here. I will attack eventually if I have to, but if Yusugi can kind of go after Kaga instead, I, I might prefer that. Um, we'll see. I won't wait too long on that one. But I will need a fourth stack so that I can hold Echi's in and then attack Kaga since I am going to stay friends with Yusugi for as long as I can. Um, I still need to defend any province that I that I leave as I'm going around Hida. Now the way that the Yusugi, um, Yusugi Daimyo's personality is hard coded is that they will essentially remain allies with people with you as long as you remain strong. So if you show weakness they will break that weakness but in cases where you know you you show a strong front and you know make sure there's lots of full stacks surrounding them they typically won't attack so if i keep doing that that'll be fine uh going into my northern push it looks like i will be leading the way with my 33 year old uh old, old daimyo shimazu takahisa and then my four star um how old is this guy it's not going to tell me how old my heir is. Oh, it tells me here. Uh, 31. It's okay. So he's just two years younger than his dad. Shimazu Yoshimoto. And then who am I going with here? It's my three-star general, my Yari Samurai general, uh, Arima Yoshimoto. These are going to be my primary generals leading the way into my northern push. And I will need a fourth one. It looks like I do have a two-star general here. It might be him, might be someone else. We'll see going forward. So in the meantime, I will be planning my attack into northern Japan. And I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. Until next time, this has been Khan of Step. And this has been Shogun Total War. Thank you very much, and goodbye.